Lately, it seems that everyone's chasing after the same thing. The film look. For quite some time now, we've been so obsessed with manipulating our digital footage in post with LUTs, power grades, you name it. All to achieve the film look. People really love the film look. We've come a long way in color graded in post using all these plugins. It's looking pretty good, but I think we're missing something. Let's try something a little bit different. So yeah, um, here's the plan. There's a plan as I write down on my notebook. It's a simple plan. So here's the, here's the first step. The first part's easy. Most cinema cameras have a 16 millimeter or super 16 millimeter crop sensor mode. So that should be pretty simple. My cinema camera has a super 16 mode, a crop mode, which actually gives out a 2K image. So that's not too bad. So step two, it's not as easy as step one is to actually shoot on a 16 millimeter lens. Okay, yeah, so step two wasn't as easy as I thought. As you see me here, kind of surprised, scrolling through eBay ads, looking at those prices. Glass ain't cheap. After weeks of research and looking online, I finally come across something pretty special. This is the Zeiss Vario Sonar 10 to 100 T2 Cinema Zoom Lens. It's a 16 mm cinema par focal zoom, and it's exactly what I was looking for. 10x par focal zoom. It has a T2 aperture, has integrated focus and zoom gears. This version comes in Airy B mount, which can easily be converted to PL mount and it's about the size of a normal 70-200 photographic lens. I first came across this idea when I DP'd a music video that wanted those long in-camera zooms. For this music video, we rented the Anjanew 25-250, and I decided I had to have one of these 10x zooms. But after seeing how much Super 35 10x zooms were, I pretty much decided or slash settled on 16 millimeter zooms. So here's a few fun shots you can do with the 10x zoom. You got work. Player two has left the
So, as I leave you guys with these last shots, I just wanted to share with you some of my final thoughts. While I was doing my research on whether I could use old 16mm cinema zooms on modern cameras, you know, like on Facebook groups and a bunch of forums and stuff, I mostly encountered people saying, why would you do that? In my mind, I kept answering, have you seen the price of Super 35 or full frame 10x zooms? But in reality, I should have answered, why not? If it's technically possible with my setup, why not? This is one of the most exciting things of where we are at today with technology. Everything's so accessible to everyone now. And pretty much the limits are yourself. There are plenty of things out there that have probably already been tried. But you always have a new twist on things. And just because someone's done something before, it doesn't mean you should stop innovating or being creative or just trying new things. Worst case scenario, you learn something new. From this little experiment, I learned all about 16mm cinema zooms. I even learned how to shim a mount and uh, maintain its power focal ability. I was even able to use this lens on a few paid jobs, and it gave me a pretty unique look. The director was pretty happy with this shot. All this to say, just shoot what you like. If it looks good to your eye, don't be afraid to do things a little bit different. I guess it could be a good sign when you start doing things where people say, why the hell would you do that? <laughs>